I'm starting with these tin mailboxes. I got them from Target for a dollar. And then I have this show off brand heart stencil and you can find this at Hobby Lobby. And it can be really any heart stencil or any stencil of your choice. And I'm going to start on the one side of the mailbox and using some painter's tape, I'm just going to adhere the stencil to my tin mailbox. And I'm just going to pick the section with all the smaller cluttered hearts. And using a foam dabber and a very small amount of white white Zowl primer, I'm going to dab over my stencil. And here the stencil rounds a little bit, so you have to hold it down. And I'm using some of the primer as paint would probably just wipe right off of the tin or scratch very easily. So I did the one side and I allowed that to dry. And then you can also fill in any areas with just a single heart if you feel like something isn't proportional. Again, just a very small amount of paint, especially being the hearts are so small, it is a little easier for them to bleed and harder to stencil. So then I repeated the same thing on the other side of the mailbox, and I allowed that all to fully dry. I'm not going to do the top of this mailbox. I have this wood heart. I got it from the Dollar Tree, and I'm painting it with just a gold metallic paint from Folk Art. I'm taking my drill gun and I'm just going to drill a hole at the top of the mailbox here. And then I'm going to take my metal shears. And using that hole to start, I'm just going to cut a little rectangle at the top of my mailbox. You want to be careful you don't cut your finger on the tin as the edges can get a little sharp. And I just have this file here that I'm just going to file the edges, kind of push them down so they're not as sharp. So here we have our mailbox so far. And using some E6000, I'm just going to attach the wood heart we painted on the front of the mailbox. Next, I'm taking my gilding wax. This is Eternal. It's a gold. And I'm just lightly putting it on the flag of the mailbox. And I'm going to set that aside. Now a second option are these felt stickers. You can get a pack of them right from the Dollar Tree. And if you don't want the headache of the stencil, you can just stick these stickers. They come in a few different sizes and you can just decorate the entire mailbox. And on this one, I went around the entire top and bottom. Now using some Wise Owl Furniture Salve, I'm just going to salve the mailbox that I added the paint, and I'm just using a sock to rub it in. This will just give it a nice little coat of protection. I got these styrofoam cylinders right from Dollar General, came two in a pack. In this one, I'm just going to take my hot glue, put it on the one end of the cylinder, and then I'm going to stick it in to the back of the mailbox and allow the glue to dry. Next, I got all these little succulents from Michael's. I believe the pack was $7.99, but then if you have a coupon or their spring collection is currently 40% off. And I'm just going to stick the different succulents all through the top of my mailbox here. And I'm just going to fill it as much as I want to just hide the styrofoam and the cut edges of the mailbox. And here's our first mailbox. You can also find these mailboxes already decorated. I just didn't really care for a lot of the designs. I got this candlestick holder from Dollar Tree and I'm going to spray paint it using my Rust-Oleum Chalked Spray Paint. And once it's dry, I'm just going to give it a coat of the salve as well. And using my E6000, 
and just a small amount of hot glue to help it adhere, I'm going to sit the mailbox on top of it. Now going to my second mailbox, I have more of a rectangle styrofoam and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to glue it to the inside of my mailbox. And this time I'm going to have the succulents coming out of the opening of the mailbox. And I'm just going to have them sticking out the top here. And I'm adding some of this artificial Spanish moss. You can get this right from the Dollar Tree. And I want it to kind of hang out of the top and the sides. And then using my glue gun, I'm going to close the lid onto the succulents. So the lid is half shut and the succulents are coming out of the top. And you can add this onto a stand or you can put a hook at the top and hang it from somewhere in your home. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products and the salve can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.